Hello everyone, today we are starting Franbo, my very first ever playthrough. I played A Little Misfortune a few months back and many of you guys said that I needed to play this game because A Little Misfortune is connected to it. And this just released on console, so what a more perfect time to dive in it now. So subscribe if you are not, I'd love to have you here. Like this video if you liked, and uh, let's start a new game. Everything's fine. It feels like heaven. I see my parent, my parents. <clears throat> they look happy. They have a present for me. I wonder. <gasps> it's a kitty. It's a cat. So sweet and pretty. No. Dark has the deepest night. It's Mr. Midnight. Nothing better happened to that cat, my best friend. I'll sue this game. My only friend. We are having dinner and I see um, Aunt Grace. I really like her a lot. It's Friday. My parents are going out. Aunt Grace takes good care of me. We are having so much fun. <laughs> the cat's licking the bowl. I don't try. I don't trust Aunt Grace. <laughs> it's Monday night. I'm playing with Mr. Midnight. But something feels real bad. Is it the narrator from Little Misfortune? A strange creature outside my window. I don't like it. It scares me. Suddenly, I hear something. It's mom, screaming. I want to know what's wrong. A bright light shines from my parents' room. I go closer. And closer. Oh, mom, dad. Oh no, please don't. Oh, <gasps> mommy, daddy. Oh, well. <sighs> but they left, it's not real. No. Oh, the cat's angry. What? Fran, please follow my voice. On the count of three, you will wake up. One. Two. Three. Ooh, that is a very sensitive mouse. Holy. We need to turn that down. Can I even hit this? <laughs> Friend, how do you feel? Um, fine, I guess, or I feel like dying. I'm fine. I feel great. I'm fine, I guess. Just sad to see the same things. Sadness is something everybody has within. I want to find the killer. I want to go home. Find the damn killer. I really want to know who killed my parents. The police are working on it. Well, they suck. I'll find my, my cat and killer and the killer. Nobody's doing anything. Nah. This is a job for Franbo. I'll find the killer and my cat. Your cat is missing. It would be impossible to get him back. What do you know? But now I have something for you, Fran. What is it? See the desk? There's a little package for you. It's from Aunt Grace. Take it. Hmm. Alright there. This was my mother's purse. 
Open it. There's something inside. Lost and found. I can't use this. Maybe I should examine it. Oh, square. <clears throat> Dearest Fran, here is a purse you like so much. I thought you would like to have it. When I was thinking about you, I remember that you like to examine objects and combine them with other things. So I hope you'll always keep this purse and give it and and give it and all the other things you find a good use. Never forget that creativity is absolutely the greatest gift you have. Love, Aunt Grace. She's worried about you. Aunt Grace? Well, that's another reason to let me go. Well, don't worry about her. She's fine. Can I leave now? Can I go to my room? Yes, you can leave. But before you do, it's time for your new medicine. Ah, uh, I'll take the drugs. What medicine? It's called duotine? Or duotine? And it will make you feel very relaxed. Nurse, we're ready. Anything new today, Dr. Dern? 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 Nothing, actually. Same visions as before. Oh, I see. Here, Fran. Take your medicine. Do I have to? What if I ran, huh? Ah, fuck, I'll take the fucking pills. I don't feel good. Ah, uh, that's horrid. What was in that medicine? Jeez. Oh no, take her back to her room. And nurse, don't let her take this ever again. <laughs> Beware, Franbo. Beware of what? If you leave the house of madness. I will hunt you down. Catch you. And bring you back to insanity. Aw. No, oh, where's your kitty? Fran, wake up. The medicine will help you escape. Oh, will it? Are you sure? <laughs> I'll be waiting for you in the forest. I love you. I love you too. All I care about is the cat in this game. That's it. Just the cat. Chapter 1. My Sober Day. <sighs> oh, a nice picture of a clown. That's uh, good to have in my room. I'm still here. Hideous place. Is that my brain talking? <laughs> a cross, a clown. This is horrid. <laughs> I have to get out of here. Okay, this? Oh, like... Okay, hold up, hold up, hold up. Oh, so it's down pretty low already. I'll do one notch. We'll see how that goes. What's this? Oh, sweet. Oh, oh, sweet, sweet melody. Sorry. One more time. La la la. No, it doesn't. It'll change. I'm persistent. Okay. Locked. Good reason to be curious. I should get the key for this. I'll get your nose. I'll get it. Are you a happy clown? Can you make me laugh? That's creepy as hell. Okay. Age 10. History. The patient was found near the Oswald Asylum showing signs of psychosis. The Bo Dagenhart family tragedy. De details omitted. Treatment. Dr. Michael Dern has tried different medications and all have been cancelled because of side effects. 1944? Psycho what? I'm not that sh for sure. Psycho? Okay. Hopefully this won't fall on my head while I'm sleeping. Eh, it probably will. Red and tiny, you are hiding from me. Oh dear, I miss you so much. I will find you, Mr. Midnight, I promise. Don't be afraid, my dear kitty. Everything will be just fine. Oh dear, I miss- Oh. It's just repeating. Okay. I have to find Mr. Midnight. I have to find him now. I miss my kitty. He hides because he is afraid. 
He told me that the medicine would show me where he is. Oh wait, hold on. I don't want to go there yet. I want to check out this curtain. Oh, holy moly, something fell. What's outside though? Tower defense. We have a crazy person for you called Fran. Or is it defense tower? Um, I guess that is my way out. Wait, what'd that say? I don't think my head would fit through the window. Hmm. What fell? A handy hook. I'll save it to play pirate later. Examine? A golden hook that fell from the curtains. Hmm. What's left? Nope, we'll go right. <laughs> That's authority. We don't want to talk to authority. Oh, oh. A secret box. Oh, use? Ooh, it's a tiny key. A tiny little key. Hmm. Hey, bro. Are you okay? Hello, Phil. H hello. How are you? Everybody says that I'm sick. They're just stupid. They always say that. They're just stupid. Are you leaving tonight? If you help me. The only thing I know is that the office is the key. There's a key inside? The key is there a key inside the office. I saw the doctor write a, a secret code. A secret code? To open the yellow door? He doesn't want me to tell you. Who? Him. What are you pointing at? What's happening? All doors are closed. You are a prisoner of my games. And no one will help you escape. Leave me alone, I hate you. No. Mommy, Daddy, I need you so much right now. No, I won't let that monster stop me. Hell no. We're gonna beat it up. I used to have a blue dress like yours. I can't play with you now. I'm on a very secret mission. Phil, age 8. History. The patient came to Oswald Asylum with his mother, Rachel Bronstone. The boy has developed paranoid behavior. Paranoia not yet diagnosed. Treatment. Daily treatment with the doctor, we have not achieved the patient's trust and he refuses to be questioned. Oh, poor Phil, I understand why you wouldn't trust them. Ooh, a wooden Mr. Horace. Are you having a good time? Back and forth. The trip of our lives, yeehaw. <laughs> if I sit down, I'll eventually have to get up. So what's the point? To be seated or not to be seated, that is the question. Of course, it's locked. You have a cross on your... Uh, above your bed, too. Okay. Uh... Oh, my legs are just fine. Um, I'm not disabled. Okay. Empty bottle, empty glasses, nothing useful. Towels, towels, I don't need towels. Ooh, why is this boarded up? Um, not so easy to see through this. Why is it boarded? It looks like the playground. Hmm. Oh, the other window. Ah, the playground. Good night, trees and moon. I'm pretty sure the playground isn't a good escape route. It might be. We gotta exhaust all the options. Alright, lady. Oh, Fran, you're awake. Good. How long was I asleep? Three days, maybe. Was it the medicine that made me sleepy? Yes, it was the medicine. That's why you're not taking it again. Something happened. See? You're nothing but trouble. What is it? Nothing. <laughs> nothing. Oh, I want to know what she's writing. I'm curious. I guess the nurse will never let me touch anything. 
I know that the nurses always keep the medicine, but where? All right, I should tell her about the curtains, actually, because she'll get up. There's something happened. I broke the damn curtains. I was trying to look outside and I accidentally broke the curtains. Accidentally? Pfft. I have to fix this. Follow me. I'm not following you. I better go talk to her. No. I want to know what she's writing. Hurry up. Go, 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 go. No. Now's the time. Now's the time. Oh, it won't let me. Damn. Oh, she looks pissed. Something is missing. Have you seen the hook that holds the curtains up? What's a hook? Well, I have to go find something to fix this, you little girl. Okay, she left. Go, now. Oh god, I cannot read that. The nurse's handwriting is awful. It is. Gladys? Oh god, I cannot read this. Eight and H is circled, though. The patient has been sleeping almost all the time. She only wakes up to drink water, but I don't think she remembers that. After drinking, she goes to sleep again. She hasn't been social for three days now. Some kids have come around and asked about her and when she would come out and play. Eight and H. I only understand three words. Fran, sleeping, duty. Oh God. What the hell is this lady reading? Violent trauma can have a great impact on children, totally changing their normal lives. For example, children damaged by trauma can have mild to severe deficits in some abilities such as trusting people near them, seeing the world as a safe place, making decisions, etc. Because of these effects, some traumas can lead us to several symptoms of major mental illness. For example, not trusting other people or not feeling safe in the world. This can be interpreted as paranoia. Drawing of the brain. Let me see the traumas. Hmm... Charm is a word the doctors love to say. Hee <laughs> hee, that brain looks like a turtle. Does it? <laughs> okay. Ew. Oh, must be coffee, I agree. Coffee is ew. Band-aid. Oh, I, I'll keep these patches to stop bleeding. They're bleeding? That's news to me. I think this is where the medicine is, but it's locked. Hide. Oh, jeez. Oh my goodness, this is terrible. Why would the nurse have this? She wants to kill us all. I'll leave it as it was. I really need to get out of this place. Are you... Oh, I thought she was taking it. Okay. We could use it, though. You know? We could. Okay, what did I get? Examine. Whoops. Examine. Tiny patches to cure wounds. Um, oh my gosh, I keep doing the same thing. My pills are inside, I know I have to crack the code. Is it just as simple as like, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, so eight? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, so it'd be nine. A, B, C, D, so four. A, B, C, D, E, so five? Oh, the pills, can you told me? These would help. Cool. Uh, let's take them, baby. Watch your step. You got a little blood on your mouth. Are you okay? Get out, creepy monster. Hello. Hello, Miss Nurse. Are you alright? Hello, huh? Wait, go back. There's something right here. Do I need this? Excuse me, nurse lady. This may be useful. It's a needle. No thanks. Oh god, this is horrifying. 
Oh, is that my head? Give me my head back, please. Just go away, you weird creatures. Okay. Oh, dead bunny, okay. It was not me. Hey, before we go downstairs, how's Phil? Oh. Why are you looking at me like that? You terrify me. You can see? Can you see? To happiness. Ew! Hello, oh no, your head. Is this unlocked now? No, okay. Let's go downstairs, I guess. It was not me. It was to happiness. Okay. Wait. Okay, never mind. Let's check downstairs. No, absolutely not. You can't tell her that. But she has to know. You can't keep uh, me away from her. The reason is more clear than Grace. Oops. The reason is more than clear, Grace. No, it's not. I want to take her home now. You can't. Farron's mental and condition isn't stable yet. You don't understand her. She's a very special girl. Oh! I passed out again. Doctor has no soul. I'm going home tonight. Why is there a dead fox? Oh no, foxy fox, don't cry. Use my hand as a tissue. Would you like a hug? Did anything change? Um... Needle... A key... I have a little... Does the key go here? Yes. Use. Yes, yes. I got it. There's something inside. Oh, my dear family, I will guard this with my life. I miss you so much. I really need you here with me. I will find my kitty and then go to you, Aunt Grace. I know Aunt Grace will take good care of me and Mr. Midnight. What else was there? My hair clip. I should make good use of it. Yeah, as in... As in... Picking the lock. It fits, but there are two holes. I need something else. Whoops, I didn't mean to... Oh, take the pills again. Hold up. <laughs> Just keep taking those pills. You need something else? Okay, so you get combined, combined. Yes, to happiness! Yay! <gasps> what was that? Daddy was not there. Mommy would not care. What if I untuck the pills? What would happen? Snuggle, snuggle, old lady on your chair. I don't want to touch it. It's a clown from the painting. <gasps> no! Why do you look like a rag doll? Even the purest of things die in this place. Um, Adele Ada? Adele? H7. You can see. The patient was a victim of sexual abuse by an unknown person, which almost killed her. This event has created a auditory hallucinations and thought disorder. Treatment. The doctor has become close to the patient through drawings therapy. She is making progress. <sighs> oh, that's not good. Tiny, tiny hands all over you, eating your soul. Oh, shit. This is dark. Hello. Um, are you okay? Hello. You see them. Do you? You do, right? Uh, what? <laughs> see what? 
The creatures that follow everyone. The shadows? You mean the shadows? Uh-huh. I can't see them, but I know they're there. You know what they are? Yeah, I guess. Tell me? You like to draw? I love to draw. I love it too. But tell me more about the shadows. Crayon, a, a crayon. I want to find a crayon. I draw all the time. Uh, what are you drawing? Something. What is it? My dreams. Go now. You see the- ah, uh, okay. Okay. Oh, real flowers, they smell so sweet. The drawer is empty. Oh, let me see. A red puppet and a serpent. A teddy bear and many other things. Oh, let me see, okay. You got a creepy clown too. Oh, this is one of those mute clowns. I've seen so many and they all look sad. This bed is, bed is very pink. <sighs> this bed is okay. Let's take the pills. Oh, that's so sad. Um. Let's go outside. Oh! You're my beloved friend, Bip Bip Burr. The maze. We never get to play there. The maze? That sounds amazing. I'm just kidding. It doesn't. The throne is empty. <laughs> Pill? The king likes drawings. Somebody wrote something here. Interesting. I don't like this. King likes drawings. What? This wasn't here before. Oh, unpill me. <gasps> huh. There you are. You should be in your room. The door was closed. You left it open? I'm sure it wasn't open. I know because I locked it. Are you sure? You told me to go and eat. Did I? Hmm. Alright then. Carry on. And that, folks, is gaslighting. <laughs> this gate is very locked. Ooh, I hear an like, alarm. I wonder what that blinking light is for. The yellow door. Um, why am I yawning so much? That is a way out. Okay. Sir... Oswald Harrison, a bearded old man. The reception room. You can always find a nurse in there. Pill me up! Oh! Oh, this clock sounds odd. It feels like it's whispering right in my ear. Hmm, I can't understand what it's saying. Hello up there, miss. Your dress is very pretty. My mother had very pretty dresses too. Okay, deep de pill me. I'm out. <laughs> Hello. Hey, get your hands off the office door. Hey, don't you speak to me like that. Sir, the key hanging up there. Can I have it? Sure, I can give you the key. If you give me a kiss. You should kiss your ass. Ah! <laughs> uh, you can kiss this pig head. Ew, a crunchy pig's head ready to be served. I wonder who would eat this. I think my kitty would be afraid of it. Can we pick it up? Take it to the real world. And have the guy kiss it? Uh, Mr. Pig is naked. Mr. Pig has no wings to fly with. No flying Mr. Pig here for me to see. Sticky bloody parts. I don't want to touch it. wonder what part of the body that is. I 
I want the damn keys. An arm extension would be nice. The blackboard is empty, no drawings. If I call it emergency, I don't think they would help me. This table isn't interesting at all. I can't reach those tiny windows. What's this? Uh, Oswald Asylum, Child of Psychiatry. Phil. Patients visits today. Phil has a patient. Or a visit today. Hmm. Okay. Let's go this way. Hello. Hello, are you alright? What is that supposed to mean? I wanted to know. I just want to know if you're feeling okay. I don't want to tell. The doctor will cut your head open if you don't leave. He likes to eat brains. He already took mine. He ate all my thoughts. He ate your brain? He'll eat yours too. I saw you inside the doctor's office. You were dead. Oh no, then I have to go. Hope you find new thoughts. Bye. Wait, let's eat some pills in that room. What does it look like? I will laugh at you. I will lie to you. I will hide you inside the shadows. I will- oh, okay. That's- you sound fun! Teddy, what are you doing here? Are you on your way to meet another Teddy? Say hello for me when you get there. Oh. Okay, let's go in here. Oh god, we didn't see that yet. Let's look at it normal. First. Good night, shiny toys. Have you seen my kitty? He's the most funny and clever guy. You would like him. Isabel. She won't wake up. I guess that means she'll she's heavily sedated. Would you like to help me escape? With your big muscles and hairy arms? <laughs> you could break through every wall. Um The Action Men. Could either of you help me find my kitty? The soldier lost his leg in the war, and the cowboy ate the princess. Little paper boat, take me to the sea and beyond. I wonder if this paper boat can sail. Because if it sinks, I could drown because I can't swim. Hello, what are you doing? It is a work. The paper isn't working. What do you mean? The paper should be working like they told me. What does the paper do? I need the paper to show me what's on the television. Why isn't it working? Oh, I see. But why isn't it working? The waves must be powerful. Change the channel, please. We're losing the waves. Change the channel. Okay. Paper vision negative. Change again. We're losing the waves. Okay. Okay. Four. Human testing approved. Okay. Five. Six. Seven. There you go. Damn it. Okay. You don't want you don't like the nature channel? Oh, documentary. Maybe I guess it's about pine cones and ants. Eight. Is that what you wanted? It works, it works. It's a miracle. Thank you. Paper vision positive. Great, can I see it? No, this is mine. If you want, you can take the papers that didn't work. I suppose I can use it. To write or draw on. Okay. Thank you. Well, now I can write or draw when I'm bored. Paper, very white. Type. Clowns on the walls in the House of Madness. You're way better inside that frame than down here, sir. Your tiny hat is very sweet. The smile on your face is quite scary. Yeah, it's fucking terrifying. Ooh! This pink sash is mine now. A belt from the robe good to tie things together with. Wait, like the hook? Oh! <gasps> now I can use the rope to tie the hook with something. Ooh. With what, though? Okay, let's take a pill. Oh, that's so brutal. 